When I first started ground driving him, he was very reactive to the whip. If I held it in my hand, he would jump forward in his hind legs. He would spin around and face me. Um, I really couldn't even touch his body with it at all, so I started stroking him with it and being real gentle. But the trick is to not stop until they feel calm. So when I first started doing that, his head would stay high for quite some time, and I had to sort of help him drop his head to get kind of off adrenaline. And then, as you can see, when I gave him that treat, I wanted his head down low, so I offered it low. But um, definitely don't stop doing things if they're still feeling reactive, especially when their head is really high up in the air and their eyes are bugging out. I also want to just say that this is actually the first time I've had the bit in his mouth since he's been here. I never even put it in his mouth with a halter on or anything, which I should have done. And today I felt a little bad. I know that he's wore the bit a lot. I mean, when I first started him, obviously, he wore it around his pen while I did chores and whatnot. Um, and then I know, I think they may have had kids ride him a little bit at the barn, and so he had a bit on there. But it's been a long time since he's had one in his mouth, and I should have tied it to his halter and let him wear it a little bit or let him just wear the bridle. And so I feel bad that I didn't do that. He was quite mouthy and chewing it a lot because he wasn't thrilled about it. All right. Even though he was ma busy with his mouth and the bit, I felt like he was happier in the bit than he was when I just had the halter and long lines. Um, he still pushes his nose out a little, but he wasn't pulling on me all the time and rooting his nose and um, kind of pushing and shaking his head like he was with the halter. So I wasn't able to show that very well because I didn't have anyone to video me except for my phone by myself and I just wasn't able to get a good view of what was going on with the halter. But um, I did feel that he was ultimately happier in the bit if he just needs to wear it more. And we'll see if this is the right bit for him. I'm not thrilled with it. It's a hinged bit, a Myler hinged bit. It is shaped for his mouth and it's a three-piece bit, but I don't like the hinge in it at all and I'm not I'm not totally convinced that he does either. And so I may just go with a nice mullein, probably a victory or an arch mouth to give him a little tongue relief. So we'll see. We'll see what he likes. Part of the video is really interesting to me and it was interesting today because we've been practicing this question box on a single line and on two lines in the halter and he knows when he gets in there he gets to stand and have a cookie so I just was really interested and confused actually about why he was so reluctant to be in there this time this exact time and then then he got really reactive about where I was standing and what the reins were doing and then he was then he got upset and so that's something different that he didn't do when he was younger, that dramatic overreaction. And this is nothing really. When he first came here, he would jump straight up in the air, he would rear. When he was overreacting, he was very spooky and worried all the time. I think the ulcer meds have helped him tremendously with that anxiety. But you can see though that when he gets confused or for whatever reason he didn't want to be in there, then he, then he really has a little issue. So I just tried to stay calm with him and work him through it, and um, but I wasn't. He needed to go back in there and stop and stand quietly, and I wanted him to be able to stand there while I move around because I've been walking all the way around him from the front of his nose all the way around to the other side to the front of his nose with the long lines. Um, I'm sure today's reaction has to be because he has the bit in his mouth and that's different. Um, but I just thought it was very interesting to watch him struggle with this. Stand still. We've been doing this 
every day and he's just standing there, I can walk all around him. So that's why you always have to deal with the horse that shows up because it's always somebody different every single day. Yeah, Bill? When should I stop filming? Are you ready? Okay. All right. Walk. Good boy. So I just wanted to end in the question box on a really good note and to spend a little time in there with him. And I actually do end each session in the question box um, with a couple cookies and some petting. Not too much petting. He's he doesn't love petting, so I don't. I try not to overdo it with him. But um, I do want to end on a nice, calm, quiet note with him. So that's what we're doing here. It turns out his session didn't end in the question box because he was quite mouthy and a little bit um, in a hurry to get his bridle off. So I went ahead and tied him up and let him just kind of stand there and think about it for quite a while. Actually, the tie-up session ended up being longer than the actual groundwork session, which is great. He does need to spend some more time tied up. Um, Sky and Zorro have had lots of time tied up and it makes for a nice patient horse who can stand tied quietly which is really nice. Mikey needs to learn that because he has anxiety whenever I'm out doing something with Skye so I do tie him up for that because I don't like it when he's just running around. Um, so anyway his session ended tied to the shed and once he was quiet then I went and took his bridle off and he was a perfect gentleman when I went to do that.